and there was something I could teach mm -hmm. the, the other soldiers. Um, I applied for it, and then it, was, it, it backfired because then my buddies, the, the, uh, the people I was working for, said, no, man, mm -hmm. you, can't, you can't do that. And, and stay my friend. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, so the, the, they turn, I, I, like, I don't like to say they turn against me, but uh, it was, uh, they, didn't, they didn't appreciate that at all. But rivalry is, is a funny thing, you know? And uh, I, I mean, you, you and I have private conversations about sure. that sometimes. Instead of doing things together, I always find people work against you. And I never did understand. I, I think it's taught here um, through sports and everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I think what they teach is, is uh, to be aggressive uh, instead, instead of just m making you sure of yourself. They, they, they just. They don't don't stop there. Just don't don't be sure of yourself. Mm -hmm. Be aggressive. Turn everything down so you can be up there. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I never was into that. Mm -hmm. uh, my I think my, my mode of communication and so that I could really understand others was mm -hmm. different. Therefore, I was never understood. Yeah. Wow. Well. Um, I'm going to change the subject for just a minute here. Uh, be because of your love for people and doing things, you now actually have you, you have a wonderful music show here on TCTV. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so in, in a very short time, take me from the military to the reason behind your show, and then we're going to go back to the military in a little while. Sure. The, even in, in the military, it, so it took me through uh, Europe and the Spaniards were there, mm -hmm. and here, uh, when I got here to Olympia, uh, there was very few Hispanics. Mm -hmm. um, so um, there's a radio, I think, uh, a radio station in Seattle. At that time, there was one in Tacoma, and I think there's one here too through uh, Evergreen College. Mm -hmm. K U K K E K P L U. No, no, no. The public station. Yeah, but it, it, yeah. I is this it? So I think. At one time or another, we off DJ there. Um, yeah. 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 A and um, so I, I was already out of the army, uh, retired, had nothing to do, and my daughter worked here. Mm -hmm. So um, um, I think a lady, Nancy Seals, saw, saw me uh, arranging the song for a for a rock group over in mm -hmm. in uh, Evergreen Ballroom, if anybody remembers out uh, there, Evergreen mm -hmm. Ballroom, it burned down, sorry. Mm -hmm. But uh, she got me to do her sound here, mm -hmm. and it's different live sound than, than studio right, sound, yeah. and, and I had to get used to that. Yeah. And, and through the time I said, well, hey, why can't we have a Spanish program? Let's, yeah. let's, uh, so that so the, the people could see uh, and could hear what was coming, mm -hmm. the Hispanics that were um, the bands, the musical groups that were coming in here. And I offer that to, to the promoters. Mm -hmm. And um, see, the, the, the way in, in Mexico too, the way that we are, we, we always, uh, um, we don't trust others. Mm -hmm. So when I went there, they, they thought that I wanted money from them to, to show them here on TV. And oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I, I remember you telling me oh that. Oh man! Yeah. So, consequently, there, there was only one, one group that sent mm -hmm. me their videos. Uh, uh, all female group. Uh, maybe I have luck with them or oh, something, but yeah. it's all female group, and that's the only one that uh, is a professional video that I show every now and then. Uh, the name of the show is Reino de Estrellas. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Rain of Stars, mm -hmm. because I, I think there's something good on everybody that uh, that should shine. Right. And. Luckily, um, um, I don't only now I don't only show um, Hispanic themes. Mm -hmm. um, anybody that, that would be out there that wants to sing, dance, mm -hmm. um, I, I put them in front of the camera. Um, there's a, I haven't shown it, shown it yet, but there's a, um, um, a classical pianist. Oh my! Mm -hmm. And and. Um, um, other people that that uh, that it are not Hispanic per se, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, to me musical is, is uh, 
yeah. the world wide. Uh, we interchanged people. Remember, we had the African fusion band, uh, Soya Mal. Yes. Mal uh, wasn't it wonderful? Oh, yeah. And Beth Quest. Maya and so Soleil. Maya Soleil. That yes. Was name, uh, and you know what? I don't think I've heard that yet either. You haven't aired that? Well, Carl Bernie said, hey, 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 <laughs> aired. Yeah, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And, and this, is, this is a good way to get to know each other, mm -hmm. uh, our cultures. Uh, it is, yeah. And so, so uh, with, this is all positive. Just to show you, we are basically positive people. Yes. So now we're going to go to some things that are of concern to us. Ooh. And um, I'm going to take you back here just a few months. and. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I ended, uh, so we have established uh, a vet? Yes, a yes, uh, I got out of there and um, because, uh, you know, uh, when, I, when I was in, in uh, barely starting the army, uh, a lieutenant in pitch black said, you know, I want you to scream as loud as you can and attack that hill. Yeah. And uh, I was, well, screaming, yelling, all yeah. battle type, and, and I fell into a foxhole. And my arm just, I, I think it tried to get out, out the socket, excuse mm -hmm. the microphone, but, uh, um, and, and I got hurt through, uh, through my 20 years in the Army. And I came out of there, and, and people say, well, hey, see, uh, you gotta go through the medical, and, and um, if it's bad enough, they give you a uh, disability. Disability. In, in grades. 10, 20, 30, and so on. So uh, after, after all all the examinations and everything, they said, well, we're going to give you a 30% disability. Mm -hmm. And I didn't think it was that bad, but uh, mm -hmm. they know better. And, and all because of stress. Yeah. They said, uh, because of, of the things that were going mainly at the end of, of my 20 years and, and uh, divorce and my father's death and everything. Um, and the places I went to, they, they gave me a 30% stress. And, and, and uh, for a while, I, they gave me medicine to take. Mm -hmm. I was supposed to take it through the years. And so that's why I couldn't find a job, I think. Because all, all they, they would ask you, hey, are you taking any medicine? Well, if that's you are, right. then we won't hire you. Right. Now, so here you are. You spent 20, 20 years in the military um, being grateful for your schooling. Yeah. OK. And you all stressed out to the point that you got a disability. Right. So now you're going to take a break, right? I was going to take a break. It just didn't happen. Um, I, over there where I live, uh, there was uh, my first home and everything. It's still, uh, I, I could not deal with, I guess, or, or either they could, with my neighbors. Uh, I love my neighbors. They're, they're cool. But then there's other people that I don't know why. they. Uh, I would come out one one time, and one day I came out, and there was a, a dead snake, poor little snake, uh, hang in, hanging in my window in the car. Um, phone calls that uh, say, more or less, we don't want you here. Mm -hmm. And uh, one time, a few months ago, uh, the homeowners association went and, and uh, they took my bus, my truck. They hired somebody, mm -hmm. and. And they went and tore up my yard, and, and which, you know, you figure, why do they want it tore up? Because it looks bad. Mm -hmm. And uh, took all my belongings and, uh, out of the bus. Well, they took the bus with my, uh, the, the things I make money with. Yeah. Um, since um, the only thing I knew was music and being a technician, it just took me to helping the musicians mm -hmm. uh, record or, or set their stage. Um, their PAs and stuff, and, and that's what I used to do. Mm -hmm. and I still do, but uh, they took it out, and 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 then they they blame me for it. They said, "Now you owe us so much." It, it turns to thousands now mm -hmm. that uh, that uh, I need to pay them for for doing that things to those things to me. And um, but hey. Um, as, I, I figure as long as they may do this because they don't understand me or the way I am. And um, I learned to really cool down uh, mm -hmm. instead of being stressed, uh, mm -hmm. just uh, disregard everything and inside just be totally calm. Mm -hmm. So uh, maybe that's... 
Now, you and I talk about these things in detail mm -hmm. because uh, because this is a visit, you know. Sure. Um, at the time of this taping, which is uh, June the 4th, I am yeah. still homeless after the earthquake now. So he, it is three months after the fact, and it's not, it's not that, uh, first of all, I love all people. Cool. But I'm not required to like everybody. And when I tell people oh. that at my lecture, they say, yeah, they're so relieved, <laughs> you know. What happens is I, I have no quarrel with the earthquake. I have no quarrel with my creator. What I have problems with is because what comes after? The rules, the regulations, they change the rules on a daily basis. Right. So how are we supposed to live with that? It's hard. Uh, and in your case, I think you're just, aren't you just waiting for somebody to make a decision back east to just release a title? There. Just sitting there, and I'm homeless. And, and mm -hmm. it's amazing, you know, because I think the, the, uh, the universe as it is, is, is running smooth. Mm -hmm. It's just as humans over here every now and then put, put a little tweak and mm -hmm. we don't want the things to run that smooth, I guess. It, it, uh, it's challenging. A lot of lessons, a lot of lessons for everybody. Now, yesterday, yesterday um, I discovered I couldn't get into the trunk because some had shifted. Yeah. So uh, I called the insurance and I called the locksmith, and of course, nobody did what I had asked him. So I called Barney, and Barney says, Not a problem. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and remember, you took, the, you took the, um, the back of the. The back seat out. Mm -hmm. oh. So what does my trunk have to do with Bernie's trust? I think what has to do with that is that it doesn't really matter what it is. You can, I don't care what it is, you can say, Bernie, what do we do here? And uh, some kind of way, he'll figure it out. And so he's a very loving person, a very caring person, bordering on genius, right? But then we get, have to get mad at people doing things to us all the time. It's amazing. Uh, but. Like I say, I, I don't get upset. At, well, I do get upset, mm -hmm. but uh, it uh, it's just another level of stress. I have to I have to calm down. The other thing that we, oh the trunk yesterday uh, yeah. I don't know why how the trunk got into this. Uh, when I called the insurance, they asked me um, uh, what was the problem, and I stated there was a problem with the trunk. I couldn't open the trunk, so they said, "Well, are your keys in the trunk?" And I said, no, I have my keys. Well, I wasn't covered for just having a locked trunk. But they would have opened it had the keys had been the in there. Had the keys been in there. Yeah. And so, so the whole thing is here. Sometimes you can't just, you ask a question, you tell the truth. Yeah. And that doesn't always work. No. You know, in fact, we did talk about that. It's, uh, I've noticed when I sit in courts, too, if, if you tell the truth, sometimes they throw the book at you. Yeah. But, and if you tell them a, a blatant lie, mm -hmm. then they say, wow, you know. And, and, I mean, I don't want to tell people that we're learning to be liars or that the courts wants us to be liars. It's a shame that sometimes it does happen like that because I think the judges or the lawyers, as, as they go through their training, they are trained that everybody lies at them. Well, I hadn't thought of that. Right. So. Um, Right off the bat, they say, well, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to see what kind of lie he's going to tell me. And if it's believable and, and, and like they can substantiate a little bit of that, they will go along with it. But if, if there's a little break they can break in there, then, then they break the lie. And uh, amazingly enough, some, some of the truths are stranger than, than, lies. than lies. Yeah, I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, that's the way I think they do it, because it's uh, one time um, they had given me a ticket for, because a car that looked like mine went uh, past me on the, on, on the right hand side, mm -hmm. and I said, wow, there's a car that looks like mine. And mine was puttering because it had a clogged filter. Mm -hmm. All the, the, later on I see the little lights behind me, and so I start pulling out and he pulls behind me. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, he's going to help me out because my car <laughs> barely moving yeah. along. And no, he, he started writing me a speeding ticket. Mm -hmm. He said, just the other guy. Yeah, I said, are you sure this is, oh, yeah, this is you. And besides, sign it here. You're not admitting to it. Tell it to the judge. Mm -hmm. Well, the judge just re read, read the letter, which is a, a, a black letter. You know, I was mm -hmm. 
uh, sitting there and this guy went by and I clocked him or I put my laser light on him and and, and I said, but it wasn't me and I had, I had witnesses saying that my car had problems and I said, my car's standing out there if anybody would, 